Hello. So today we are going to be going over the standard error of the difference. Now, what does the standard error of the difference allow us to do? Um, well, the standard error of the difference, it lets us take uh, two groups uh, or two samples and estimate the difference between those groups and see if we can apply that difference to the entire population. The standard error of the difference also tells us the probability that the difference between the means of these two samples is greater than zero. Okay, let's get started on an example problem. Boys and girls at Alderon Elementary were randomly selected and tested for midichlorian counts. Was there a difference between the boys and the girls? And I've gone ahead and written down the midichlorian counts for the boys and the midichlorian counts for the girls. So we are going to be looking for a standard error of the difference. So I have gone ahead and written down the formula that we need for the standard error of the difference. So let's go ahead and get that written down. So it is the standard error of the mean for group 1 squared plus the standard error of the mean for group 2 squared, and then all of that is square root. Okay, so since the standard error of the mean is not given to us, we need the formula for that as well. So the standard error of the mean is going to be standard deviation over n minus 1 square root that. Now remember there's two different formulas for this. For this particular problem we're going to be using this one because the next thing that we're going to figure out is the standard deviation. So that is the sum of the raw scores over n minus the mean squared. Okay, now in order to figure out all of these problems here we're going to have group 1 and we are going to have group 2. Okay, so we're going to need an n value for each of those. We are going to need a mean for each of those. We're going to need the ex squared value. We're going to need the standard deviation. And we're going to need the standard error of the mean and the standard error of the mean. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first off, what is our n count? How many people do we have in our study? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six for the girls here. Let's go ahead and label that group two. And then we'll label this one group one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six for the boys as well. Okay, let's go ahead and figure out our mean. Okay, so we've got to add all of these up together. That is going to give us 35. Now for the mean, it is the sum of the raw scores divided by n. So that's going to give us 35 divided by 6, and that's going to give us a mean of 5.83. Group 1. 83. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do the same for this one. So we're going to add all of these numbers up, and that is going to give us 49. And then we're going to do the same thing for the formula for the mean. The mean. So 49 divided by how many people are in our study, which is 6. And that is going to give us 8.17. Okay. Let's go ahead and, uh, and figure out this value next. So remember, we're going to square all of these and add them up. Okay, so when we add all of those together, that's going to give us 235. And then, you know, we'll just go ahead and divide that. So squared, squared squared. Okay, so it's going to be 49, 64, 81, 36, 81, and 100. And then when we add all of those together, that is going to give us 411. Okay, now that we've got all of that, we can go ahead and just erase this. 
we go. So next, let's find out our standard deviation. So we'll do the standard deviation for group one. Okay, so the standard deviation Okay, so let's go ahead and plug those values in for group one over here. So we'll have 235 divided by our n value of 6 minus our mean of 5.83. And we're going to square that, and then we're going to square root that whole entire thing. Okay, so when we take 235 and divide that by 6, that's going to give us 39.17. Minus 5.83 squared is 33.99. Okay. And then when we subtract those two, that's going to give us 5.18. And then when we square root that, that's going to give us 2.2759. Don't forget to round. So it's going to be 2.28 is going to be our standard deviation for our group one. So 2.28. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and figure out the standard deviation for group two. So we've got our EX squared value of 411 divided by 6 minus the mean of 8.17 squared. Okay, so we are going to divide uh, 411 by 6. That's going to give us 68.5 minus 8.17 squared is 66.75. Square root all that. So we're going to subtract that. That's going to give us 1.75. And that is going to give us 1.3228. Don't forget to round. So we have 1.32 as our standard deviation for group two. Two. Next, let's go ahead and work on our standard error of the mean. So let's do group one first. Okay. So our standard error of the mean is the standard deviation over n minus one. Okay, let's just go ahead and plug in our values from group one. So our standard deviation is 2.28 over n value 6 minus 1. So that's going to give us a 2.28 over the square root of 5. And then 2.28, when we figure out the square root of 5, that's going to give us 2.2360. Remember, we've got a round. So 2.28 over 2.24. And then when we divide that out, that's going to give us 1.0178. And then we have to round again. So that's 1.02 for our standard error of the mean for group one. So 1.02, okay? All right, there's that. Now let's go ahead and do group two. Okay, so we're going to do the same exact thing. The standard deviation is 1.32 over 6 minus 1. 1.32, 6 minus 1 is 5. 1.32, and then when we get the square root of 5, we're just going to go ahead and put the 2.24. That's already rounded. Okay, and then when we divide those out, that is going to give us 0 0.5892. Now remember, we've got a round. So our answer is going to be 0 0.59 for our standard error of the mean for group 2. Last part. Let's figure out the standard error of the difference. Okay, so the standard error of the difference is the standard error of the mean for group 1 squared plus the standard error of the mean for group 2 squared. So let's just go ahead and plug those values in. So we will have our standard error of the difference will be 1.02 squared plus 0 0.59 squared, and then the whole thing of that will be square rooted. 
Okay, so 1.02 squared is 1.04 plus 0.59 squared is 0 0.35. Okay, now we add those together and that's going to give us 1.39. And then when we square root that out, we are going to get 1.17. Eight, nine. Remember we've got a round, so our standard error of the difference is 1.18. So the calculated result that we got for our standard error of the difference was 1.18. Using the information that we had from the initial word problem, we can go ahead and put our findings into word form, into a sentence form, so that other people understand what our findings mean. And for this particular problem, we can explain that as when boys and girls differ in midichlorian counts, the average amount that they differ is by 1.18 midichlorians. And if you're not 100% sure what a midichlorian is, you should Google it. Other than that, you guys just did standard error of the difference. Congratulations. Good job.